If the farmers reap, the whole world reaps, and if farmer cries, the whole world cries. As the saying goes, the world is happier when farmers are happy. The reason for the happiness of farmers is basically due to the adoption of new technologies in agriculture and allied activities which make it more profitable. Karnataka state has three agricultural universities, one agricultural and horticultural university, one horticultural university, one veterinary, animal husbandry and fisheries university. All these universities are continuously and consistently innovating and releasing new technologies for the benefit of farmers and transferring them from lab to land in collaboration with developmental departments. University of Agricultural Sciences Bangalore is the parent university for all the state agriculture and allied universities in Karnataka. In the light of increasing population and to keep people free from hunger, there was a need to increase food production. Food security would not have been possible with local varieties, breeds and technologies. There was a need for high yielding varieties, improved breeds, advanced technologies and quality inputs. The state of Mysore was at the forefront in developing innovative agricultural technologies, increases production and productivity of farmers. The genesis of University of Agricultural Sciences Bangalore started with the establishment of experimental farm in 1899 at Hebbal in 30 acres of farmland donated by the then Queen Kempananjamanni of Mysore state. This was upgraded to an agricultural school in 1913 and later into Mysore Agricultural College in 1946 at Hebbal in an area of 202 acres under the leadership of Sir M. Vishveshwaraya, the then Devan of Mysore state. In 1964, this became the University of Agricultural Sciences Bangalore, which at present covers 10 southern districts of Karnataka. These include Bengaluru Urban, Bengaluru Rural, Chamarajnagara, Hassan, Chikabalapura, Mandya, Mysore, Ramanagara, Kolara and Tumukuru. India is an agrarian country, contributed a lot significantly in the agriculture, especially with the fruit production starting from 50 million tons way back in 1950s, 60s. And today we have achieved about 284 million tons of food production and also the vegetable and fruit production to the tune of 305 million tons. This significant achievement is made be due to the efforts of the scientific community from the Indian Council of Agriculture Research and State Agriculture Universities, private sectors and also the efforts of the farming community. Among those agriculture university, University of Agricultural Science Bangalore, way back from 1964, almost to the tune of 54 years, contributed significantly in terms of development of the varieties, development of the technology, development of the human resources in the field of agricultural sciences, and also contribution in terms of transfer of the technology through the Directorate of Extension. So with this, uh, the really today, the uh, University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore, is uh, performing better way at the national level. The main mandate of university is teaching, research and extension. The headquarters of the University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore is located on the National Highway No. 7 at Gandhi Krishi Vignana Kendra, commonly known as GKVK. It is on the way to Kempegoda International Airport and 14 kilometers from Kempegoda bus station. The campus has a total area of 1,398 acres. The university offers four years professional six bachelor degree programs, namely BSc Honours Agriculture, BSc Honours Sericulture, BTech Biotechnology, BTech Agricultural Engineering, B 
BTech Food Technology and BSc Honors Agricultural Marketing and Cooperation in English medium under semester system. Apart from that, there is two years master's degree programs and three years doctoral degree programs. It has six colleges in Bengaluru, Mandya, Hassan, Chikabalapura and Chamrajnagara districts. Well-equipped laboratories, experimental fields, library, stadium, separate hostels for boys and girls, hostels for international students and healthcare centers are part of the system. In order to get practical field experience, the undergraduate students are placed in villages to get exposed to rural environment and in agro-industries to encourage self-employment. National Service Scheme and Physical Education are part of the co-curricular programs. The university is continuously conducting research to find suitable solutions to the field problems of farming community. The farmers, officials from developmental departments, scientists and extension personnel are involved in planning and implementation of research programs. The Agricultural Zones 4, 5, 6 and 7 comes under the purview of this university. In Zone 4, Agriculture Research Station at Arasikere in Hassan District, Pavagada and Tipatur in Tumukuru District. In Zone 5, Zonal Agricultural Research Station at GKVK, Main Research Station at Hebbal in Bengaluru and Agricultural Research Stations at Balajigapade, Chintamani and Nelamakanahalli in Chikkabalapura District. In Zone 6, Zonal Agricultural Research Station at VC Farm in Mandya District, Agricultural Research Station at Naganahalli in Mysore District, Madenuru in Hasan District and Kunigal in Tumukuru District. In Zone 7, Agricultural Research Station at Gunjevu in Hasan District were established to conduct location-specific agricultural research. Come back to the research component. As the research component is concerned, again our university is the front runner. Our university is the pioneer and the first to release the hybrid sunflower in the whole country. And similarly, hybrid rice, the public sector hybrid rice, they are carriage 2 and the carriage 4. The carriage 2 and 4 are, you know, uh, familiar and popularized with the, not only the state, even at the national level. In case of the sunflower hybrid, our hybrid is uh, performing well in the African countries that is Uganda and we are exporting the quality seeds to these institutes. The Directorate of Extension transfers agricultural technologies from lab to land by conducting extension educational activities for the benefit of farmers, farm women, rural youth, extension workers and other stakeholders in collaboration with developmental departments. The Directorate has seven farm science centers, commonly known as Krishi Vignan Kendras, are functioning in Hardonahalli at Doddapallapura in Bengaluru Rural District, Kuraburu Farm at Chintamani in Chikballapura District, Chandurayana Halli at Magadi in Ramnagara District, Kone Halli at Tipatur in Tumkur District, VC Farm in Mandya District, Kandali in Hasan District, and Hardanahalli in Chamaraj Nagara District, and two extension education units, one at Naganahalli in Mysore District, another at Kolar. Three training units, which are Staff Training Unit and Farmers Training Institute at GKVK, and Bakery Training Unit at Hebbal, Bengaluru, are operating. extension information units which are Agricultural Technology Information Center, Agricultural Sciences Museum and Farm Information Unit at GKVK Bengaluru are functioning.
International Agricultural Extension Programs, one at Hebal in Bengaluru and another at PC Farm in Mandya are operating. The Distance Education Unit at GKVK Bengaluru is providing distance education in agriculture. The university organizes Krishi Mela every year in order to create awareness on recent agricultural technologies to farmers and extension workers. The Krishi Mela is organized for four days at GKVK Bengaluru and two days at BC Farm Mandya. The agricultural fair is generally organized in the month of November in collaboration with developmental departments. New varieties and technologies developed by the university are released during Krishi Mela. There will also be felicitation to the farmers who have achieved excellence in farming at state and district level and farm youth and farm women at taluka level. The State Agricultural Universities, ICAR Institutes, Developmental Departments, Financial Institutions, Self-Help Groups, Farm Machinery, Input Agencies and Publishers are participating in agricultural exhibitions. Krishi Mela includes food stalls, rural arts, rural cultural shows and unveiling of folk art also. The Krishi Mela is a very popular event in the country. Farmers, scientists, extension workers, general public, students from schools and colleges come together during the fair and exchange ideas. Communication Centre, University Examination Centre and Kannada Department are also functioning at GKVK Bengaluru. The Director of Education, Registrar, Dean of Postgraduate Studies, Dean of Students' Welfare, Comptroller, Administrative Officer and Estate Officer are functioning for better coordination and effective management. Foreign students from different countries, mainly Asia and African countries, come to this university for pursuing graduation and post-graduation. The university has national and international collaborations with different universities and research institutes. The university has a placement cell which facilitates university graduates for employment and international center which facilitates faculty and students for international exposure in education and training. Dr. Babu Rajendra Prasad International Convention Center, Kuvempu Auditorium and North Block Auditorium are well equipped for organizing university activities, seminars, conferences and workshops. The university has received many national and state awards for its outstanding contributions. The most important among them is Sardar Patel Best ICAR Institution Award in 2001 and 2012. The students of University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore secured first rank in All India JRF examination held in 2002, 2005, 2016, 2017 and 2018, secured second rank in 2012, 2013 and 2015 and third rank in 2014. The Mitte Mari model watershed in 1987, the Kabbalanala model watershed in 1989, the Kalyana Kere tank, Mavatur tank watershed in 1993 and the bakery training unit in 2007 have received awards from the National Productivity Council. The best KVK award at national level presented by ICAR was received by KVK Hassan in 2002 and KVK Bengaluru Rural in 2014. For the farmers you know, community, the students from the farming and the rural background, we are going to give about 40% seats to these uh, students, uh, the students from these families. So this is how we take. And as far as the, the human resource development is concerned, 
our university is uh, almost uh, first in the bagging the uh, the junior research fellows and also senior research fellow to pursue their masters and the phd degree at all india level not only here we our students also getting the admission even in the abroad so our students has made a significant contribution now many of our alumni are occupied the highest positions not only in the state uh, uh, national uh, even at the global level so this is how our uh, you know the teaching profession has contributed a lot to the agriculture industry in addition many state and national awards are backed by the university national service scheme unit backed the best university award in 2012 All India Inter Agricultural University Sport Championship Awards in 2003, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2012, 2012 and 2017. All India Inter Agricultural Universities Award for Youth Festival Champion in 2011. university which is the lifeline for farmers got all these awards for its continuous and consistent service over the years alumni of this university have occupied several important positions in the state country and abroad the university which has a remarkable history has been doing outstanding progress in agricultural education research and extension to the doorstep of farmers and recognized as one of the best outstanding agricultural universities in the country